Because their food here is slamming, but the view. They have these awesome party buses, and right there is the party bus. Do we end up down there tonight? Who knows? Who knows? Whippa! And let me tell you, no sleeping on the jets. I just got grounded because I've never seen a live starfish before. And that is what they're famous for. Anybody saw a boat? And welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name's Chris, and we're glad you came along for the adventure today. Today, we are in Puerto Rico. We're staying in Yabacoa, and I think we did all right. I think we did okay. But I'm gonna let you be the judge of that. Comment down below. What do you think? This is the view. I gotta say, not too shabby. I think it's pretty decent. You know, we had an awesome, awesome sunrise. I'm going to see if I can't get that for you guys. But, you know, we're here in Puerto Rico for a week. And uh, we're just going to be having a good time. Taking you guys around the island. Taking you on some of our adventures. Um, and just having a blast. You know, that's really what this life is all about. Is getting out, being with your loved ones. Going on some pretty sweet adventures. And just having an awesome time. So we're certainly glad that you guys chose us to come along on this adventure for. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get this party started. Hey guys, hey. where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. I'm not gonna lie to you, whenever we come to Puerto Rico, we always have to stop at this awesome place. It's kind of like outside of Guayama called La Casa de Pastelillo. And this place is absolutely awesome. The food is incredible. The views are off the hook. And we're gonna take you there right now. Just gotta follow the palm trees. You just gotta follow the yellow palm trees. I think one of the most awesome things about being in Puerto Rico, like before I came here, I always thought Puerto Rico was completely flat and really just like a bunch of awesome beaches. But as you can see in the back here, you have beautiful, beautiful mountain ranges. And it almost kind of like reminds you a little bit of Jurassic Park. And I think that's absolutely awesome. There's definitely a lot more to see in Puerto Rico than just beaches. So then, of course, I've showed you the mountains. You've seen the mountains. The mountains are awesome. But when you can come to a place like this and get a nice ice-cold pina colada and an acaporia or whatever you want to eat, because their food here is slamming, but the view. Look at the view. You just don't get any better than this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, here I am not getting it. Hold on. Ah, mira, hola, hola. 
Dale la foto. <laughs> I think one of the coolest things that I see when I come down here to Puerto Rico is they have these awesome party buses that you can get on. Um, I've never been on one. It's definitely on my bucket list to get on one, so I can't 100% tell you what goes on in there. However, they've passed us, and I promise you they are having a hell of a good time on it. And right there is the party bus. Love the party buses. One of these times, we are definitely going to take you on one of those party buses. All right, well, we got our tummies full. I apologize. I forgot to show you our food and drinks. Um... So you're gonna have to take my word on it that's absolutely delicious but we are now at the beach and where we ate was i think right over in there i gotta do a test you think the water's really nice and warm i do and Oh, it's beautiful. It is like bathtub water. It is beautiful water. It's so clear. One thing I like about Puerto Rico is a lot of their beaches are really nice and calm like this. Now, don't get me wrong, you do have a lot of beaches that are uh, very wavy and you know, you can surf in, but the ones that are like this that are just like so calm you could just sit down and you just really enjoy yourself it is incredible do you like this one yeah do you like this one yep <laughs> my honey approves too this is a good beach the water i can't even i can't even tell you like in pennsylvania right now i think it's like 40 degrees today and i want to say it's close to 90 degrees here and this water is seriously like bathtub water i'd say definitely like 80s for sure got grounded because I got wet. All right, I found a little adventure. We got a flip flop down. They're looking for me. And they don't know where I went. This is kind of creepy. Rumor has it we have a starfish. Oh, it's alive! Young pulpo. Now it's not gonna move. She said to turn it. Metale al agua de que se mueva. Ponle en el agua que se mueve. Que lo put in the water before it dies. I think it's dying. That was pretty cool. I've never seen a live starfish before. And it's going back to the water. That big white house right up there on top of the hill is where we're staying. That is home for Puerto Rico.
not 100% sure where the party's popping, but there is a hell of a party popping, and it is awesome. It's all the way down there by the beach. I don't know, man. I'm kind of thinking, do we end up down there tonight? Who knows? Who knows? Whippa! Well, I tried to tell him that the party don't start till I walk in, but unfortunately it's done. So I guess it's time to go to bed now. Catch you in the morning. This view up here is absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, you know, but it's not just from, from this Airbnb. It's really, it's, it's this island, this beautiful island. You know, it's absolutely gorgeous here. One day I can only hope that we call this place home. You know, it's, it's just such an awesome vibe here. The people here are so friendly. I gotta tell you though, Y'all drive like crazy. But other than that, I mean, I love, I love this island. I love this place. You know, it's just such an awesome, awesome environment to be in. So if you've never been to Puerto Rico, I highly recommend you come to Puerto Rico because you're going to absolutely love it. You can't go wrong. You just, you can't go wrong. I mean, you're in paradise. It's just an absolute paradise. So if you can make it, check it out you're gonna you, you won't be sorry i promise you that but uh i think we're gonna head over to a place called guavate today which is uh i i think the other name for it is like lechon highway or, or something like that but um you know there's all these awesome eateries and they have a whole bunch of pork um you know and just pretty much any type of food you can you could think of um they have there and it is absolutely delicious so like guavate is one of those places kind of like in the central part of puerto rico um, I think it's uh, right outside of Calle, but you know, it's, it's a really awesome experience. The vibe there is incredible. There's so much food and souvenir shops and, and different eateries and stuff. Um, you know, like I said, you can pretty much get whatever you want there, but um, we're going to head over there now. It is Monday, so you know, like the weekend rush is kind of over. They're not going to have everything open that they normally do on the weekend. Uh, you know, like Fridays and Saturdays here are absolutely popping. It's, it's insane. Uh, you know, once you get back into the week and everybody kind of gets back into their moving and grooving, uh, you know, things kind of die down here a little bit and it's just not as busy. But, uh, you know, there's definitely still a lot to do. Uh, me personally, I kind of like it a little bit better during the week. Like I said, we're going to head over to Guavate, get something to eat. Let's get this day popping. One cool thing I forgot to mention, maybe I already did. They hooked us up with a nice upgrade for free. Got the Jeep. I'm going to Puerto Rico. I gotta tell you, I've been here quite a few times. The Jeep is definitely the way to experience this island. It is cool, it just kind of adds like a little extra flavor to it. Well, here we are. As you can see down there, you get off of the exit. There's a whole bunch of them right off to the right. And then here, you have a whole lot. And that is what they're famous for. Lechon, the port. You see a whole bunch of them up through here. And this actual, this whole road that goes all along through here, all the way up into the mountain, there's one called El Rancho Original. Um, that goes all the way up in the mountain as i said you have these like literally all over the place here so if you're ever in puerto rico and you want some good food make sure you check out guavate because you can't go wrong but we're gonna go see what we got here and uh i'll show you some of this food we are going to the lechonaria bruni
smells absolutely amazing. I take you over here and show you the pork because this is what they are so famous for here and it's phenomenal. Look at that. Even got some chicken up there too if you want some chicken. Let's see what we can get here. That looks delicious. Here it is. The <laughs> traditional meal and guavate. And I'm even eating it. Woo-wee! We got the yuca, aloe con dulce, plantano, and lechon. Aloe con dulce. Oh, sorry. No aloe con dulce. Aloe con gondule. <laughs> aloe con gondule is uh, it's like a very sweet rice, like rice pudding. All right, I'm not going to lie. That food was was pretty good um the the other place we went to i think was called el, el rancho original um which is is kind of up the mountain a little ways there um i'll put some pictures up here i'm pretty sure i have some pictures or some video from the last time that we were there uh, and you guys can check it out but like i'm saying if you like pork or you want like good true authentic puerto rican food you gotta check out guavate it's right outside of calle can't go wrong can't go wrong so i think we're going to check out some souvenir shops and maybe head back to the beach not 100 percent sure but wherever we end up i can promise you as long as you stay tuned you're gonna end up there with us all right well here we are at guayana's beach such an awesome beach here I think we're gonna go see if we can catch some fish and uh, enjoy some beach time here. It's pretty cool. We got some, got some coconuts up there in the tree. Man, I wish you could feel the temperature of this water. It's beautiful. It's so nice and so clear. All right, now picture this. It is one o'clock in the morning. You just flew for a couple hours and you're trying to find your Airbnb. And this is the route that your GPS takes you. Now this is quite the route, quite the terrain. I'll tell you at the end of this here, there is an easier way to take. Let's check it out. So then you make it to the very top, and I'm not sure if you can really tell how steep this is, but now we're going down. Way down. And this part just about feels like you're gonna flip right over forward. But I promise you, instead of taking that path, if you would just happen to go down one street and make a left, it's a lot easier. You don't have to go up that big hill or down the big hill. And I gotta say, we are in the pool and we are having an awesome, awesome, awesome time. And this is the view on the other side of me. a cruise ship right off the coast that's what all those lights are out there pretty sweet I gotta tell you one thing that's an absolute heartbreaker here are stray dogs um, you know there's definitely a lot of stray dogs in Puerto Rico I don't know if you can see them running down the hill there but it looks like maybe maybe mommy daddy and two little babies we got some more up there. 
anyway, um, I figured I'd take a second. I apologize for the wind. I don't have a wind sock with me here in Puerto Rico, but I figured I would take a second and just kind of show you around here while everybody's still getting ready. But this here is our Airbnb. It's pretty neat. We got some whole lot of fruits here. Uh, got mango trees, star fruit trees, any orange trees. We got the plantains, some banana trees. It's really awesome. But when you come, if you ever stay at uh, Casa Panorama, when you come, there's two driveways. You got one right here, and you got one up on the top. Um, I'm not really sure the best way to get out, but I back down the hill. I found that to kind of be the easiest thing. Um, I'm surprised it's windy here today. It's usually not that windy, but there is some rain coming. Uh, as you can see, some clouds out there, but this is our view. This is absolutely amazing. You got a really cool chill spot up here on the roof that you can hang out. Take you down there. Got some chairs if you want to sit. Got a nice bar area here. And again, the views, you can't beat it. If you don't feel like going to the beach and you want to sit up here and get a suntan, have at it, because it's awesome. Again, I apologize for the, for the wind. Uh, yesterday, we were at the beach and right down there was where we were and we were on a pier which was right over there so you can see very close to the beach it's starting to rain a little bit right now and again i apologize for the wind i'm i'm sorry wish it wasn't so windy but right over here is the orange tree there's the star fruit tree that's a mango tree this here you got some steps that you can go down some more picnic tables there and then you got a door that goes into the side but i'm not going to go that way we are going to come around the other way and i'm going to show you the pool and get out of the rain a little bit here all right this here's kind of like a nice little balcony that we have sit up here on the porch just kind of overlook the beautiful view nice thing is in the bedrooms you have one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom and then the fourth bedroom is in the back side these first three here I think are all king size beds maybe queen um, and in the back bedroom does not have the ocean view and that's kind of a bunk bed but ironically enough coming here this here has kind of been our chill spot. You know, like I thought it was gonna be up on the roof, um, but this has been kind of where we've just hung out and, and uh, you know, really enjoy the evening. And I said, you can, you can somewhat see the sunrise over here, kind of comes up over the mountain there a little bit. Um, just really, really cool. I'll take you down and show you the pool. It's actually kind of like three floors on the downstairs is like a uh, I want to say kind of like a master apartment type of a deal but I'll take you down there and show you that we have friends my mom calls that one buttercup that is her best friend and what uh, little miss buttercup doesn't know is if she would get along well with my mom's doggy I think my mom would have rescued little Miss Buttercup. And right here is the entrance to the downstairs, like little apartment. Um, I'll take you in there, but not right now. This is another driveway here, uh, very steep to get up. We are kind of up in a mountain here. Um, so the host asks that we don't use that one just because it's so steep. But go down here. Got a nice little outside shower right there. And the pool. You can't beat the pool. 
May or may not have already seen video of the pool. I don't know. But I'll tell you another cool feature that I found is uh, this little spin dial here. You turn that puppy and you get the jets. And let me tell you, no sleeping on the jets. Those jets are pretty darn cool. This is an awesome massaging hack. It feels so good. You see the camera moving. That's because it's moving me. They're awesome. It's a really nice massage. But then, that is your view from the pool. Absolutely cannot beat the view. And then there is the... Uh, the window for kind of like the master suite uh which is super awesome again that's your view that you wake up to in the morning and it's just super chill and relaxing i will take you inside and show you around then um probably not gonna be right now but we're getting ready to head out now but stay tuned you'll see the inside sometime All right, well, I'm gonna take you inside here and just kind of show you uh, like the downstairs living area. Uh, we kind of use that as just kind of like the little bit of a master suite type thing. Um, but let me show you in here, see if you like it. Excuse me. Here's the living room. So you got a nice smart TV. Still have the beautiful view out here. Absolute beautiful view. A little crack in the window not sure where that came from but here's the living room you have your kitchen it's kind of like a, a little just kind of like a little apartment you know nothing too crazy um but it, it serves its purpose you got a full bathroom and shower down here and you got a bedroom with a king size bed most importantly the view the view here is incredible you can see the pool got that awesome view out there it is raining out in the ocean right now it looks like which is really cool to uh just kind of sit here and watch these storms roll in it's just something that kind of fascinates me i'm not sure why but uh you know one of the really cool things here is is you know you can actually see the storms roll in off the coast or you can see them kind of roll in from the mountains and that is just so awesome to me so i'm going to take you upstairs and we'll show you the upstairs all right well this may come as a shocker to you but i am kind of an idiot and forgot to take footage of the upstairs so as you can see here are some pictures of the main living area I think that's going to wrap it up for this adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, we certainly had an awesome, awesome time down here in Puerto Rico. It's just, it's an awesome time being down here and then spending time with family. Um, and then, you know, hopefully one day we're going to be able to call this place home. Uh, you know, I always tell my wife whenever we get off the plane and, and you know, they, they tell you uh, when you're exiting the plane that, you know, they hope you have a good vacation. And if you're home, welcome home. And I absolutely cannot wait for the day to come when we can call this place home. You know, there's not very many places that I've ever been in my life that I've gone away somewhere. And, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, new things just can give me some anxiety, um, you know, and, and, and you just kind of miss home after a while. But this is the first place that I've ever gone to in my life that I feel like I'm at home. Um, you know, from the very first time that I stepped foot on this island, you know, and, and we continue to come down here and we're going to continue to come down here. Um, you know, it, it just says a lot when you can go to a place and you feel at peace and you feel very relaxed and you truly feel like you're at home. Um, and every time I come to Puerto Rico, 
I truly, truly, in my heart of hearts, feel like I'm at home. Um, you know, and that's just, it's a phenomenal feeling to me. So that alone means something to me. And, and you know, it's, it's just, I want to be able to call this place home someday, you know. Uh, so hopefully that day is going to come and we'll still have this channel and you guys are going to see it. Uh, you know, but until that day comes, we are going to continue to travel back to Puerto Rico. Uh, you know, sometimes maybe more frequent than others. And we promise you that we're always going to bring you back on the adventures here and keep continuing to explore this awesome island because there are so many things to do here. Uh, you know, I was doing some checking out and scoping out some things while we were down here and trying to find some pretty cool places to be able to go camping or, you know, who knows, maybe even like a little bit of stealth camping because there are still some, you know, some abandoned places down here from from the Hurricane Maria that came through. And I think it was Tropical Storm Lee. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure, but. Um, you know, there is some damage down here to some of the places still. So maybe we'll be able to squat in there one of these nights and, and check it out and bring that content to you. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you give it a real big thumbs up. Uh, you know, hit the like button down there and subscribe to the channel. Turn on some notifications because we're going to have some awesome content coming to you. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up. I'm a little sad. It's time to go catch a plane and head home now. But we'll see you every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one.